Good morning from somewhere on the plains of South Dakota. It's a beautiful morning if you check out that way. The sun's just rising. It's about 6.30 a.m. Absolutely freezing out, but it should warm up. And this is where we slept for the night. Um, on a little service road, off the highway. It's pretty ideal. Had a good night's sleep in the car. If you are camping in a car, then uh, wrap up warm, leave the windows open ajar, and find somewhere dark and quiet. This place was perfect. No one really came past. And now it's bright and early in the morning. Gonna be able to drive along with the sun rising on our way to St. Louis. Now, why are we trekking 2,000 miles across the country to St. Louis? Uh, Cause we've got a house sit there. So we're kind of blitzing across six states, I think, to get to Missouri. So we thought we'd stop for some breakfast. We've been seeing signs for Owl's uh, Oasis and there's five cent coffee here. Why don't we go and check out some five cent coffee? It's in this really cool little oldie worldy kind of western looking little part of town let's go and check out what's for breakfast check it out bacon eggs hash brown massive amount of toast let's dig in so after delicious breakfast which was only six bucks which is really good value and coffee was five cents which was amazing uh, we have stopped in mitchell south dakota out probably the most unique thing we could find to do this is behind me the world's only corn palace that's right it's a palace of corn check it out it's massive. It's the biggest building in all of Mitchell, South Dakota, and we're going to go in and investigate what this corn palace is. Inside the corn palace, it's got its very own basketball stadium. It's probably seats a couple of thousand people. It's incredible. Check it out, guys. You can even shoot hoops in the middle of the corn palace. Wicked. Guys, check it out, there's photos from every year. So we are at 2016 at the end here. Let's see what it looked like 100 years ago. So the earliest photo is from 1892 when the Corn Palace was established. This place has been around for over 120 years. Amazing. So each year the Corn Palace has different art displayed on the outside of it. And here's some of the examples of the art. Anything from pictures like this to frogs and turtles, to eagles and beavers. It's amazing. Here's the balcony of the Corn Palace. <laughs> this place is incredible. Not only have I been able to play basketball in here, but you can see all of the art that they've made. And if I spin you around to look at the, well, there's the roof of the Corn Palace. And over here, if we walk this way, you have got an example of some of the art on this side that is a farmer surveying his crops. On the other side, give me a second to take you over there, you have got where they are creating a new piece of art. So it's half finished. They've drawn it on in chalk that you can see just there. And the guys are finishing off this piece of art out of corn on the cob. Incredible. So we just finished up at the Corn Palace. Awesome. Come to Mitchell, South Dakota and check out this free Corn Palace. You can shoot basketball, you can walk around and learn more about the palace. It's been here for over 120 years and has hosted loads of different uh, festivals, music shows, events. Uh, it's incredible and the building is absolutely magnificent. Um, on to the next part of the adventure. Let's see where we end up next. So directly opposite the Corn Palace is a Bible walkthrough attraction. I don't know what that is. Your guess is as good as mine, but let's go and check out what a Bible walkthrough attraction is. This is incredibly unique. It is some kind of walkthrough land of Christianity. I have never seen anything like this. So that right there is Mount Sinai. And the Ten Commandments are up on the top of Mount Sinai. If I spin you around, it's like a whole world of Judaism and Christianity. Check out the sacrificial lamb on the fire. Bah! So this, guys, is the super fun part of road tripping. We just got massive, massive, massive chips in our windshields, if you can see them. And we have a repair kit, which we bought ahead of time, thank goodness. 
and we are trying to repair all of the chips before they ruin the window. After spending about an hour fixing the windshield, we're back on the road and headed to Omaha in Nebraska. We're going to be entering into Iowa briefly and then back out into Omaha, Nebraska. And I think that's where we're going to plot for the night. So let's drive down there and check out Omaha. So we have made it to our campsite in Omaha. Pi, if you can see him, has been told that he has until I finish unloading the car to go find firewood anywhere else, um, or I'm gonna go buy some. So Pi is running in his super sexy pants all around looking for free firewood because he is being as budget as possible. And this is our little camp spot. So I'm just gonna set up the tent. We're gonna get a fire going in a minute, just scavenging some firewood. Uh, lene has gone off to get some supplies, mainly red wine. And then we're gonna have ourselves a nice little camping get, get up. $10 to camp. After two days sleeping in the car, I thought we should splash out and spend the $10. Let's guys check it out, all set up. Got the little tent set up. Our roll mats are, uh, well, inflatable little beds. They're pretty cool. Two little chairs. About to build a fire with all this firewood that I've just scavenged. And then we're gonna cook ourselves up something delicious. That's it for today, guys. It has been an epic day driving through South Dakota into Iowa. And now we're in Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. All set up in our campsite. We've got the rice on the go down here on our fire. We're having some chicken fajitas for dinner. And in grand total today, we spent $60. 25 on gas, 20 on food, because we just went out and got a cheeky bottle of wine, who can blame us, and 10 on the camping. Pretty epic day. The highlight was definitely the Corn Palace. Playing some basketball in a palace made of corn is one of the weirdest things I've done, and definitely a unique experience. As always, for more budget travel tips, hit that subscribe button, and until tomorrow, guys, peace out.